This video is sponsored by DeskIn, a remote access software which allows you to easily connect to any of your devices from anywhere and it works cross platforms. Whenever you need to connect to your device, remotely control your device or transfer files, DeskIn can do that for you. You can turn your iPad into a virtual screen for your Mac or PC and easily drag files from your PC to your iPad. With Desk In, you can connect easily to your devices. Simply add the ID of your device or just choose from your devices that you have signed in on the list of the devices and you can have access to your devices from anywhere. You can also use Desk In to easily transfer files from your Mac or PC to your mobile phone and that's very easy with a couple of clicks you can just find any file you need and transfer it over to your phone from your PC or your Mac. Now the best thing about Deskin is that it works cross platforms so you can remote control your laptop using your Mac or your PC using your iPhone or your iPad and it actually works pretty seamless it's really really fast with a high frequency which makes the display looking really really good so go ahead and give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the video hey what's going on everyone this is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about a really interesting topic when it comes to iOS 17 which is of course a major upgrade which is coming to iOS in a few days from now so the main concern of a lot of people is that the battery health will drop when you update your device now if you have been around the last few weeks and months you have seen a lot of complaints when it comes to battery health which is actually dropping really really fast especially on the iphone 14 pro models now this is actually quite unusual like a new device would last probably around one year and it will drop at around like 92 maybe 93 percent when it comes to the battery health but it has been way worse on the iphone pro models on the iphone 14 pro models let's take a look at the current battery health that i have on my iphone which is about three weeks from now about being like one year old since i've of course purchased it and used it on daily basis so as you will see right here the battery health for this device is at 89 percent now usually this would be probably at around 93 maybe 92 percent but with these devices it actually has dropped quite a lot and a lot of that has been in the last few months of course since i updated to ios 17 since beta 1 but does this say that it actually has an impact on the battery health ios 17 has an impact on this well in my opinion it does not now upgrades will always like show you different battery health when it comes to the settings of your device so when you update your device your iphone will check all the components and then of course will recalibrate them that's why it most most of the times it will show you lower maximum capacity right here because as this, as it stays like this if i just keep it without an update even if it's a smaller update like a 0.1 or 0.01 update it will probably not change until i update then if i just don't update for a few months maybe and i update then it will most likely drop by a couple of points maybe even three or four so ios 17 is safe to update even though as i said a lot of this has happened in the last few months this doesn't mean that ios 17 is actually causing this battery health to drop this is probably a problem with the batteries for the iphone 14 pro models even though by taking a look here at the battery statistics you can see right there that the cycle count is at 348 which is quite unusual like within a year you should have at around 250 maybe mostly 300 cycles this means that i only had to actually charge this device this device way more that's why the battery health has dropped so much now according to apple your device's battery health should last to 80 percent for around 500 cycles which means that in around two years you should have the battery drop at 80 percent when it comes to battery health but this year it has actually dropped way faster but you can also see the reason here why that has happened because i have charged this device a lot and it has 
48 it's charging cycles which again corresponds very very nicely with the battery health that i currently have on my device so the problem here is that we have to actually charge our iphones way faster and when it comes to the pro models and actually the Pro Max model here which has of course a bigger battery that's not a quite a good indicator because it should last way longer when it comes to battery life and even though I had betas most of the times installed on these devices the battery actually has been quite good with iOS 17 so I didn't notice any like huge battery drains or things like that that would force me to actually just charge my device more frequently but again the battery doesn't last that long with the iphone 14 models so you will have to charge way more that's why you will have way worse battery health on these newer devices even though the battery should be better than the older ones just by comparison i had an old 12 pro max and it probably has today it probably has at around 83 or 84 percent on the battery health and it's almost two years old so when it comes again to ios 17 which will be released most likely on september 18th don't worry about battery health it won't cause the battery health of your device to drop down all it can do is recalibrate the battery health and maybe show you a lower battery health but that's the actual battery health that you have on your iphone so don't worry about it go ahead and install ios 17 as, as soon as it gets out it's actually a great great update and it's worth installing it has a ton of new features like like the interactive home screen widgets and lock screen widgets and all that stuff that make this a great update so again when it comes to battery health don't worry about installing ios 17 on your device is actually a very very safe to install and if you see a drop on battery health that's just normal it's not the ios update that is doing that so that's it thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one